What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. In 1988, Swiss roller coaster manufacturer Bolliger and Mabillard unveiled the dive coaster model, a giant vertical type of coaster present throughout the world. As a result, many theme parks we know today like Cedar Point, Busch Gardens, Canada's Wonderland, etc. have received one. However, did you know that a good portion of these went to other, lesser known theme parks? With three in China, one in Taiwan, and one in South Korea, these are some of the rarest and most remote B&M coaster credits to date. So without further ado, here are the elusive dive coasters of Asia. Starting off with number 5, we have Dive Coaster at Chimalong Paradise in Guangdong, China. Reaching heights just shy of 200 feet, the coaster opened to the public on January 21, 2008 and has a custom design found nowhere else in the world. With one inversion in Immelman, it's capable of speeds of up to 70 miles per hour and has one standard splashdown effect. It also has an extremely well done light package created in-house by the park, and at night the track illuminates bright red while a neon LED lit car traverses the track. All in all, this coaster looks pretty impressive and I think it'd be a good addition to add to your coaster count. But with that being said, moving on to spot number 4 we have a much larger, taller dive coaster, also coming from China. Known as Diving Coaster, this massive 213 footer is located at Shanghai's Happy Valley and is a near if not exact clone of Shikra at Busch Gardens Tampa. With again, one inversion in Immelman, the coaster is situated behind a large lake, making for some good views and nice photos around the park. And if being a clone wasn't enough, the color scheme is near exact to that of Shikra too. So honestly, if you've ridden Shikra, there's really no need to ride this, but a good attraction for the people of China regardless. However, I would definitely be willing to travel to the next dive coaster on this list, Diving Machine G5. Located in Taiwan of all places, the coaster currently operates at Jan Fu Sun Fancy World, and man does it look awesome. Though short, it is a mirror clone of Oblivion at Alton Towers, and drops off the side of a large hill. More impressively, I actually featured this coaster before on a previous video of the top most colorful coasters, and this made nearly number one. Between the location, colors, scenery, and sheer size, this diving beast looks absolutely amazing and if I ever find myself in Taiwan, you'll know where to find me. You might also find me at another happy valley in Sichuan, China, where the smallest but most unique dive coaster on this list sits. Opening pretty recently in 2018, Flying Apsares in Western Region is a baby dive coaster that is one of two to feature a straight drop off the lift hill. Managing to pack in a tunnel and an inversion, the coaster reaches a mere height of 164 feet, but does have a unique layout over some really cool rock work. It also features some custom turns and banks not present on any other dive coaster, so this one seems like a pretty good candidate for a bucket list dive coaster to me. And before I reveal the final dive coaster on this list, here are a couple of coasters that technically qualify, they're just from a different manufacturer. Vertical Roller Coaster at Great Xingdong Taurus World and Unknown at Yanji Dinosaur Kingdom, both builds from manufacturer Golden Horse. Yanji Dinosaur Kingdom is actually opening next month, so get ready for that. And with that, we've reached the final most elusive coaster of Asia on this list, Draken. Draken is a fairly new diving coaster in South Korea with the fastest speed of the B&M dives. It travels around 80 miles per hour according to the park website and cost it a total of around $25 million to build. It's also equipped with two drop systems, allowing guests to experience two different drops, similar to that of most dive coasters. With the dragon theme, there are also multiple dragon features outside of the queue that have received a rating of 10 from enthusiasts online for theming. Besides this, the land near the coaster is also relatively flat, so Draken absolutely dominates the surrounding landscape. This thing honestly looks pretty awesome, and I really hope to ride it someday. But with that, I can't say there are any more dive coasters as of now that can be added to the list, so I am going to have to bring this video to an end. Is there another lost coaster type you'd like to see highlighted in other countries slash continents? Maybe B&M Floorlesses? Let us know down in the comments. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching and would also invite you to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's content. Stay tuned for another video coming in a couple days, that should be exciting, and feel free to catch up with us on Instagram as well for those daily posts. Until then, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll catch you all soon. See ya!